something. Nutrisystem really works. We Gilbert. have a success story sitting in front of us. Yes. Uh, we have a uh, Dr. Gottfried who went on <laughs> Nutrisystem. I put Suzanne Vega on it. Yes. <laughs> she yeah. lost a lot of weight. Yes, and a sense of humor. Oh. Yes. <laughs> She's got a pretty good sense of humor. She, yeah, she does. does. Bring her back. Gilbert's like one of those guys. He, Suzanne? He, you can tell he's been eating a lot of free food, and he's got like tons of food in his teeth. Yes, yeah. So every time he smiles, okay. it's like... Okay, see, in this tooth, I've got the dish. What is this over here? Yeah. Right, right. there. That's right here. probably the croissant. Look at that one, Robin. Oh, ah, that yeah. looks like some... Yeah. Robin, Food point to the tooth. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Robin, point thing. to the tooth. <laughs> Just, can you point at it with your finger now? Yeah, I think it's a, a croissant, yes. Yes, okay. Nutrisystem is so to good. It's soggy now. Dr. Gottfried, uh, yes. you know that Nutrisystem works so well because yes. they make the food I for you. I put Danny Thomas on it. Oh. Yes. <laughs> good move. Well, he lost a lot, didn't yes. he? <laughs> yep, most of his money and everything. <laughs> and his everything. No, Nutrisystem really works. It really does work. And I'll tell you why it works. Why? Because... Jackie went on NutraSweet. Nutra Nutra system. system. Gilbert, do you me a favor. You almost lost Jackie. Like, can you be? Can yeah. you keep quiet for a few minutes? Let me do a serious oh, okay, commercial. Okay, I'm All right, sorry. No problem. You know, some things you just don't joke about. <laughs> Nutra system really works. We should have Gilbert call Tom as uh, Jackie Mason. Yeah. <laughs> right, Here we complain. go. Wake up, uh, wake up tomorrow, knowing that you're on your way to celebrating a thinner future. Now, understand what I mean by this. Yes. You will lose weight. I mean, you will absolutely lose weight. You've probably tried a million things. Robin, how many diets did you try? I tried every one. You name it, I tried it. Robin actually came into my office and said, I don't understand it. I cannot lose weight. I run seven miles a day. I cannot lose weight. And she says, you know what? Damn but it. But she runs to a pizza hut. That was the, <laughs> that was the problem. Well, you didn't have to tell. Yes. <laughs> I am going to go. Look at Ida. Just staring at me. That girl has the hots for me, Gilbert. You two, Jeff, go ahead, back up to the room and get it over with. Ida, why don't you just crawl under the table and take care of me? Come on. No, look, I'll give you my key. I'll tell you what time you'll be there. He just sat there and waited until I looked at him. Why don't you just go get naked and lay on the wet bar upstairs? All right, 1 800. 1 800. Damn it. Now I've got an erection. 1 800. How can I go from radio station to radio station now? 1 800 321 Thin. 1 800 321 THIN. I'm going to be walking all hunched over. Oh, <laughs> like this you is don't. awful. 1 800 321 THIN. You will lose weight. It really worked for you, didn't it, Robin? That's right. And, I mean, you want it all to Nutrisystem, your new body. Everything. You really do. No, seriously, you really do. What? I said that say, seriously. Say something nice about Nutrisystem. Say I thank you. I love Nutrisystem. There you thank go. you, Nutrisystem. 1 800 321 THIN. That was so sincere, too. <laughs> it was, because she means it. I don't even believe in love. That's why I can say it. No. <laughs> Gilbert Godfrey just walked into the room. Let's, Hi, we're let's, back. Let's make fun of Gilbert and what okay. he tried to pull here today. All right. <laughs> Gilbert decided... I don't know if we can ask him questions now. Yeah. It's past this is what happened. Conference. This is real funny. <laughs> they have a room set up here that, like, if yes. Sting decides to do this little confab, they have a special room where they can hold the press conference so all the radio stations can interview him at once. Yes. So Gilbert... No, that wasn't my idea. That so was Gilbert, So Gilbert says, wait a second, is that true? I don't want to go to each radio station. I will hold the press conference. You mean they have a room no, that I wouldn't I didn't have to go? Oh, yeah. Okay, here, so Gilbert... So I heard this. I said, I everybody... Nobody go to Gilbert's wait, room. no. No, I no, wasn't uh, the one who came up with the press conference. All right, yeah, sure. Right, I right. was outside. Yeah, right, right. I said, yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, bang, yeah, yeah, bang, yeah, yeah, bang, yeah, 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 right, right. So I said, hey, I am not going to any room. I don't want to do every single radio station because I got a sore throat. So they said, you want to do a press conference? And I said, are they doing those? And she said, oh, yeah, they are. And then they said press conference. The other said, where's that? So and you said, sat in the room for an hour. Nobody came. No, I didn't go up to the room. So they said, oh, well, look, I'm Good. not because doing Because you're that. not going to be funny doing I that. Said, yeah, I thought I thought they were just doing them naturally. All right, take it easy, Which Gilbert. Sounded, I, no, I'm pissed now. <laughs> oh, man. No, no, I'm really angry. How dare you? Boy, how it gets around. Want to hear something funny? Okay, please. We were interviewing Steve, I mean, Jimmy Lee Vaughn, the brother Steve Vaughn. Yes. The guy who died uh -huh. in, the, in the helicopter crash. So we were doing an interview with him yesterday, and we thought it was going real well. I did, yeah. yeah. I thought, you know, he was handling everything, and he was having a good time. And the record company guy told Gary that he was, like, crying in his room from our he interview. He was in the office crying and saying, why'd you put me through that? Want to call Harvey and find out why? Yes, I want to know Gilbert, want to hear? Okay. Gilbert, this will give you a chance to hear our own misery. Let me see if I can find his number. Here it is. Think he's there? Um, he should be, and the woman... 
that was with Jimmy yesterday substantiated how bad it was. Oh, really? She here? Uh, let me go see. I think she left because she had the guy with, from Living Color. I think they're hey, gone. Hey, it's not like I steered that copter into the mountain. I'll tell you exactly. She, <laughs> she, no, no, no. She told me Close. what it was that bothered him. <laughs> what? It was the fat and the bald jokes about all the guys and the T-Birds. Now, why that bothered him, I have no idea. This see? reduced him yes. to tears? Apparently. Those were jokes. How do I get a dial to him, my man? You have to pick I'll, up the I'll receiver. dial it for you. Hey, hey, you dial it. My good man. My good my man. Hey, my good man. How do I get a dial to him, my man? <laughs> <laughs> then I can He's read. He's new Sammy. Yeah, Leave him alone. Sure. What time is it in the show? <laughs> Five, Five of ten. Five of ten. Okay. I've taken to not looking at the clock directly. I have Fred tell me the time. Hi, the read office. Hi, it's Howard Stern. We're on the radio. Oh, he's not in his office right now. No. Oh, jeepers creepers. <gasps> you want to hold on? I can try and go find him quickly. Yeah, okay. Please okay, hold on a second. Dr. Godfrey's here, too. Yes. Yeah, Dr. Godfrey will explain uh, I deal the with psychological the ramifications. <laughs> of crashing into a car? Yeah. <laughs> because, like, we were real respectful. Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy Howard? sent... Yeah. I it's Laura, the one that's been with him all week. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Have you. Who is this? Going? This is the woman that Gary was just she talking brought, about. Oh, good, she cool. Brought him here. All right. Um, Hi, this is Dr. Gottfried. And Dr. Gottfried is here, too, who will talk voice. about people who get depressed over things I say. Yeah. Anyway. That's his whole practice now. Yeah. <laughs> we had Jimmy, Ray, Jimmy Lee Vaughn, See, who I consider a friend of the show. Even though we don't really know his name offhand. Right. No, he's done yes. the show several okay. times. He knows what we're all yes. about. Yeah, he knows we kid around and stuff. So... I, you know, respectfully, did you think I was out of line just saying, hey, I'm sorry about your brother and that your brother's a great guy and I was a real fan of his? Um, he wasn't mad at that, right? No, he wasn't mad at that at all. All right. So then I went into, like, hey, you broke up with the T-Birds. What was that like when you went and told those guys what it was like to break up with the T-Birds? So he started telling us, and he was a little, you know, not uptight or anything, he didn't have much to say on it. Mm -hmm. And then I said, hey, you know, you were smart to get rid of those guys kidding around. Yeah, it was just a joke. Oh, I know, but the thing was, you know, you called them fat and bald. Well, they, you know, well, come, come on. No, come on. They, they are fat and bald. <laughs> well, well, one of them must is. be perfectly but honest. I like, but I like the fat and bald guy. He's cool. <laughs> like saying to Will Chamberlain, gee, you're tall. Hey, is it my fault his lead singer eats like a pig? <laughs> it's like saying to a midget, and gee, are, you seem kind of short. Yeah, I mean... Well, you know, he could do what, you know, Phil Collins appears to be filling in his hairline. I was going to ask you if he hasn't gotten more hair over the last couple of years. Yeah, he, he uses a magic marker now. Is that what it is? Yeah, I think so. But isn't that a funny hair transplant? Yeah, well, I think he's trying to make it look like he didn't get a hair transplant. <laughs> like just hair just appeared on his head. Because he's just got a run, you know, it's like a landing strip. Oh, that's... Right. <laughs> it's a lunar strip. <laughs> Mosquitoes land on his head now. Uh-oh, Phil is crying. I've just been informed. <laughs> Phil Collins is crying uh -oh. because I said he was bald. <laughs> Oh, there he goes. But last night, he did seem to be more hairy. He did. Phil, calm down, will you? It looks like a lot of hair, Phil. <laughs> he, uh, he's upset. I'm sorry. <laughs> Unbelievable. Anyway, so then Jimmy left here, and I thought Jimmy, you know, because Jimmy's the kind of guy who used to come on here. He was kind of quiet. Yeah. And he came on and told us when he, then all of a sudden he'd come out with a great story and say how he used to feed monkeys speed right. and watch him masturbate real fast. Right, I took him there yesterday. Where, to the zoo? No, to you. No. All oh, right. <laughs> I was going to say, tell us about that. Now, what happened? You guys got him back? Where, when did he start crying? Well, generally, men who watch monkeys masturbate are more sensitive than other people. Maybe that's it. Yeah. But when did he start crying? No, pretty much the whole thing was he didn't want negative energy. He was, you know, he needed positive energy. What, is he living in the 60s, negative energy? No, but Gilbert, wait a second. <laughs> no, you know I was trying to, but seriously, I was trying to be positive, you know, just in a funny way, but I was saying, hey, how cool he is, and, uh, you know, I was only kidding no, about I the know, T-Birds. I understand that. So was he really upset? Yeah, he flipped. He flipped? But he knows me. He knows I'm kidding. No, I know. He did. I guess, you know, I think he's just going through a trip. Would See, you, I told you. It's you a whole the and combination and of things. Would you explain to me? Well, it is. Like Robin just said, it's, it's definitely a combination. It's Would everything you, that's going on with him right now. Is there right. a way I could speak to him and apologize? You know, because he's doing that Eric Clapton thing on Friday night. Well, uh -huh. next time you talk to him, can you tell him that Gilbert Godfrey thinks the T-Birds are thin and uh, have and luxurious you. hair? <laughs> <laughs> See, I want to kiss up to them. <laughs> Tell them they, they all have nice hair, and they're also svelte. You know, Dr. Godfrey was crying just earlier before the show, because, not because he's bald, but because he gets no girls, and he has <laughs> hair. And, uh, I'm thin and half hair, and I still can't get laid. How do you think I feel? <laughs> he but anyway, he's crying. I feel real bad about it, because, you know, I dig him. 
Well, hey, you know, just apologize. And okay, no, I really appreciate the phone call, and I know he will. I mean, mm. will it get back to him that we were sorry, we didn't know we had upset him? You know what I'm going to do? I'll send him um, a, a telegram. A bald head wig. Would you send him a telegram? <laughs> no, I'll, I'll send him a telegram, because there's a couple of things I want to talk to him about anyway. All right. And please like, tell him, in the king and I, please tell him I meant no offense, and I was only teasing that I think the T-Birds are all very talented. Okay. Or fat, bald men. Right. You know what? Oh. We really appreciate this phone call. <laughs> Okay, uh, thanks. Okay, thanks. Harry. All right, bye. bye, bye, thanks bye. For, and thanks for coming on the air with us. All right, thanks. All right, bye. bye. Hey, look at the bright side. There is some bright side of this. What, what's the bright side? Jimmy won't have to share his uh, Grammy with anybody. <laughs> <laughs> he got two, too. They could have split them. I dig Jimmy, and I dug Stevie Ray. I had Stevie Ray on many times, and both of them have a real good sense of humor. At least I thought, oh, I see. What, are we I'm, getting the... Gilbert has to leave? Well, well, we have to share you with other radio stations. Yeah, yeah that's right. But I know we'll have I you had to ourselves. Do my press you know, conference. that press conference would have been a yeah. lot better because you wouldn't have had to get up and run. Gilbert has to brief the other radio stations. <laughs> He's being debriefed all over the room. You playing anyway? You want to give a plug? Uh, no, I don't. Oh, well, when does this show go on? It depends. Next month. No, Next month? It goes on tomorrow. It goes I mean, on tomorrow? Oh, good. Then I'm playing at the Treehouse in... Uh, Norwalk? Is it Norwalk or Denbury? Look how Gilbert pretends not to know where these, I don't know. these places are. Denbury. Denbury. That's Denbury. Denbury. Denbury? Yeah, yeah Denbury. Okay, Denbury. <laughs> Denbury. <laughs> Denbury, Connecticut, the treehouse. 22nd and 23rd. What an Is itinerary. That it? That's it. <laughs> Yeah, okay. It's you know a new treehouse in Danbury, Connecticut, where did 22nd I just and 23rd. Yes. Look who's talking to. Yes. He gets to be the kindergarten teacher or something. He's the exercise teacher yes. for the babies, and look who's talking to. Robin, why yes. don't you save those questions for the press conference with oh. Gilbert later? <laughs> but, so he got to that uh, was, Mr. Know. Godfrey! Mr. Godfrey! Excuse me, uh, Mr. Godfrey, Rock. do you play uh, yes. the uh, kindergarten teacher? <laughs> yeah, but go ahead, That Robin. was the big... Um, dance scene. You know, John Travolta hasn't danced in a movie. Yeah, so he danced with me. <laughs> Saturday Night Live, too. Oh. So and the thing is, the first he didn't dance he any better than me. That's the film. worst part of it. He dances and as bad as Gilbert. Yes. Gilbert's <laughs> running around scaring the kids. I yes. thought that was very interesting. You know, one week I read in the Inquirer that John Travolta is uh, homosexual. Yes. And then the next week I read he's getting married right. Right. to a girl. Yeah, homo. So what can you tell us about that, Dr. Godfrey? Did he come on to you? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and he's fat and bald. He's a fat, bald homo. He didn't come on to you. Hey, who are you? Oh, Mrs. Whoa. Sexercise. Oh. Yeah. Well, Gilbert, <laughs> Gilbert wants to have an interview with you. Yes, Gilbert would like to interview you. Yeah. All right, we'll be back right after these words. The great Gilbert Gottfried. And at he did Danbury, not make... Connecticut, the 22nd and 23rd at the Treehouse. And he did not make love to uh, John Travolta. No. He wants to clear but, that up. Uh, never right. mind. But okay. he is fat and bald. <laughs> okay. <laughs>